Welcome to making a colored pencil in SketchUp. First, we'll remove the person here. We'll come in with our rectangle tool. And if your tools aren't set the way mine are, simply go to View, Toolbars, and make sure just the large set is selected. We're going to start with a rectangle, even though we're using a circle. So we'll take this rectangle, and I'll begin it here, and I want it to be up and down. So I'm going to put it up and down, just like this. Now, right in the center of that, or somewhere near the center, I'm going to place a circle. And for the purposes of this, we're not really worried about the size. And we're going to use our eraser tool, and now we're going to get rid of all the lines in the rectangle. We did this for a simple reason, to make it easy. Now we'll take the push-pull tool and we're going to pull this out. This will be our colored pencil. We're going to go to the end here, and in order to make this work just right, I'm going to use the offset tool, and I'm going to scroll in so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to just come in just a little bit now, with that little bit chosen there, see, I'll actually zoom out a little bit more to make this easy, and I'll take my hand and I'll move it so I can manage it. Now I'm going to use the push-pull tool, and I'm going to pull it out. You can see that this is the next section that I have. Now, I want to taper this end. To do that, I'll use the scaling tool. I'll select it, and now I'm going to start pushing this so that it becomes pretty small. That looks almost where I want it to be. Let's kind of look at it. That looks probably close enough for what we need to do. And now I'm going to make the area for the lead. To do that I will come back to my offset tool. I'll go to the very inside and I am going to come down just a little bit. And now we'll pull this out just like that. Well, we don't want to have an unsharpened end, so back again to the scaling tool, onto the edge, and now we're going to make this go into a point. I just keep working the corners until I get it just about where I want it to be. That will work for me. Now I'll use this and I'll click off to the side. I'm going to zoom extents again. And this time I'm going to roll to the other end. On this end, we'll use the offset tool. And we'll come in and we'll make the area that we can see which would be about the size for the lead. While we're here, let's go ahead and color this end. I will use the paint bucket. And with the paint bucket, we'll go ahead and color the pencil. In this case, I'll use an orange. I'll make my pencil an orange color. For the outside part, I'll go to the wood section, and I'll kind of make this kind of like a quirk type looking end on it. We're going to come in and we're going to rotate this so we can see what we're doing. I want to go back to that color again that I had. Let's see, I believe it was this one color the end, back to the wood. This probably wasn't the most efficient way to do it, but you can see what's happening. And then I'll make the paper on here match. Well, I won't make it match exactly, but I'll go underneath and find colors. Where those at? There they are. And I'll make something that looks a little bit off because I want to have paper match it close, because it never matches it exactly. And there we go. There is your colored pencil.